plate size, 8 inches versus 10 inches versus 12 inches. When we look at this, I brought a ruler. This is a plate out of my own cabinet that I bought. These, remember, I bought these plates on clearance. That is close to, that's about a, a little over 11 inches. So if I were to put my um, food on that, how would it seem if I put it on a paper plate? Might seem like a, a smaller amount of food might really be perceived as much larger. These are also plates that I own at home. These are also smaller plates. If I measured these, these would be um, about eight and a half inches. So when we talk about an eight inch plate, if you put your food on an eight inch plate, you perceive much, much more. And I brought you a little visual. I couldn't help. If you get to a CSR without patient therapy, we have all this fun food. So you look at this and you say, boy, this looks really ample, doesn't it? This looks like a really nice serving. Now I'll go paste my food. This doesn't seem nearly so much, does it? Because it's on a larger plate. So much of it is the perception and your glass size and your plate size. So be very aware of that whenever you're looking at uh, plates. Look for internal cues of hunger. Remember to eat, uh, take about 20 minutes to eat. Try to eat about every five or six hours and having snacks at least uh, make sure you're waiting at least two hours before you have a snack. And people say, well, why am I supposed to eat more often if I'm trying to lose weight? And that all goes back to that body kind of thinking, ooh, we must be starving. We better hang on to every calorie that we get. And understanding those appropriate serving sizes. When we look at these portion sizes, we see a cup is about a baseball size. Um, that's uh, a, about a cup of maybe a, a starch or maybe a starchy carbohydrate. Three quarters of a cup is a tennis ball. About a half a cup is a computer mouse. And a lot of people are familiar with the computer mouse at work. A fourth of a cup is about the size of an egg. And three ounces, and many of you have heard this over and over again, is about the size of a deck of cards which is a good serving size uh, for protein foods. A couple of teaspoons is usually a ping pong ball. What I like to tell people is you always have the palm of your hand with you. So rather than trying to visualize, now how is, what is the dimension of that deck of cards? You always have your palm with you. So men's palms are usually a little bit uh, larger than women's palms. So what would fit nicely in your palm is a good size of serving for a protein. Just looking again at those portion sizes, a plate with two cups of rice mounted up, or a plate with two cups of rice with it dispersed all over the plate. Looking at a nice, narrow, six inch glass of juice versus 12 ounces of a short, wider, kind of more of a highball glass. Uh, three ounces, uh, three one ounce cubes of cheese, or the say cheese spread out over crackers. And a good way to visualize an ounce is a domino. So three dominoes in my palm would fill my palm, and that would be about three ounces. But for cheese, imagine a domino. That's a good guesstimate of an ounce. Two cups of pasta in a large bowl, or a cup of pasta in a smaller bowl. So it's all back into making your eye perceive that you're having more. We look at fast food portions. This really kind of boggles your mind. We look at uh, French fries, the 1950 size of French fries, 200 calories. The 70s, 320 calories. The 80s, 400 calories. The 90s, what happened in the 90s? Super size, 450 calories. The year 2000, 540 calories. Now, super sizes can be as high as 610 calories. A kid's meal, though, is closer down to the 1970 size of fries. When we look at this portion distortion, we actually have this poster up in our office over at Outpatient Therapy, and it shows what you're served, usually in a restaurant, and really the equivalent of what a serving is. And people say, well, how am I ever going to go out to eat then if, that, if I'm getting served exactly twice what I need to be served? And I always tell people, go with a friend and share an entree 
and then ask for an additional, maybe someone ordered an extra side salad, or ask for a to-go box to be served with your meal. And this blows people's mind. I'm like, what do you mean? Are you clairvoyant? How do you know I'm not going to finish my food? But if you'll get that to-go box when your meal is served, and you take your plate, and you cut your protein in half, and you cut your potato in half, and you cut the other thing that you're served in half, and you put it in your styrofoam box, and you put the lid on it, and you set it over by your jacket so that you'll take it with you, then you eat what's on your plate, and there's no temptation to say, well, just one more bite. Just one more bite. And then, after you're halfway into that one more bite, then you go, oh, there's only a couple of bites left. I shouldn't take it home. <laughs> so then we finish it off. But visually, if you'll take it away from the table when your meal is served, you'll have much better self-control.